Hey guys, we just got back from Hobbs and Shaw. Fast and Fast Furious. Fast and Furious, you can't forget. Presents Hobbs and Shaw. My God, Alex, and what are you doing? Obviously, what? remember you could tell how good a movie he is when you see Alex's beer. Yeah. So now he switched over to Kraken. Kraken, <laughs> <laughs> who we got sponsored by on one of our streams. Mm. No, that is not a full can of. No, crack. there's 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 coke in here. It it was who pretty much love empty. And coke? He does the same thing I do. When you run out and you have a little bit, you dump a bunch of coke in and make it look like you're going to town. And he needs to go to town because was it that this bad? film? Yes, <laughs> yes, this film was awful. It was incredibly stupid. That's what you wanted. Let's no, go. Joe. Yes, it was. No, it we was. could go back to the reactions. I was like, I don't like it because it looks stupid. It's like, no, you don't like it. They're gonna go over the top. It's gonna be stupid. Yes, I was like, they did right. everything you asked for. No, Joe, they didn't. They went <laughs> way too far. Okay, here, way too From, far. You way too far, Joe. <laughs> they went to fucking Pluto. I wanted them to go to Neptune, maybe to Mars. You know, not fucking Pluto. Okay. <laughs> okay, oh, okay maybe. Right. This, you know, I'm yeah. just trying to figure out where my planets are. Neptune? Yeah, no, Mars. And they went to fucking Pluto. It's not a planet right? anymore. Yo, it's, not, it's not a planet. Okay. Yeah. Celestial uh, <laughs> body! Saturn! Actually, I don't fucking Joe. <laughs> Actually. And I think there's it's some parts parts of the year where Neptune's farther. Shut right? the fuck. God damn it. You brainiacs. Listen, this film has none of that. It doesn't have any intelligence to it. It is over oh, the top no. stupid. Don't expect anything. And it's not the over the top stupid that I wanted. Like the outrageous fun, right? Most of this film is the worst case scenario, what what you probably both thought. I knew this was going to yeah. be... I knew it, and I was hoping to rub it in Alex's face, that, that it was just going to be so much fun, action, ride, action the whole time. Guys, the action in the trailer, that's the action in the film. They cut together possibly one of the best trailer-to-film ratios I've ever seen. That's a damn good trailer. Mm -hmm. It put my butt in the seat. <laughs> when you get in the theater, you will be bored as fuck, surprisingly. Were you guys ever bored at times? I was, I was definitely oh, bored. But yes. the thing is, I was surprised because the first 10 minutes were kind of really enjoyable. Like, no, Ryan yeah. Reynolds just re comes, shows up. I didn't know he was in the movie. I didn't know Ryan Reynolds was in he the movie. He was super funny. There was, some, there was some good back and forth. And then the second they Hobbs and Shaw meet, the movie just kind of... Falls apart. Mm. It was so much better when they weren't around each other because when they were around each other, like, hey, you're you're short, get yeah. it? <laughs> hey, you're get a big it? meathead. Yeah, get it? And you're big, and you're you're meathead. Go go, go like, bad. are you eating the weight? <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. I liked their chemistry. I'd say about seventy percent of the time, thirty percent of the time, they were they landed cringy ass lines yeah. like bro, and and it just did not work. And that was what's, what was supposed to hold the film together. In fact, that's the best part of their film is the chemistry when it works, yeah. but it doesn't always work. Mm -hmm. Everything else in this film was awful. Uh, in, in my opinion, it was just not as good. It's one of the stupidest movies it's I have ever cheesy. seen. It is the second best Fast and Furious not, movie I've ever seen. No, there are so <laughs> many better. That's the other thing. I've is seen that? Two. Seen. Oh, you've seen two. Yeah. That's Instead the problem. Seen Tokyo some group. of the reason, some of the recent ones have been good. Oh, the problem okay. is, this is a Fast and the Furious presents film, right? But it doesn't do anything better than Fast and the Furious. It doesn't do the fights better. It doesn't do the over to the top better. It doesn't do the car chases better. It doesn't even do the action better. It does nothing better than any of the over the top Fast and the Furious films that I've seen. And yeah, it yeah. has to lean on its two leads. And unfortunately, that only works a little bit of the time. This was, a, what, four hours long? It was like four, <laughs> it was like four, four it, hours? It was it two hours. in the middle like it dragged on. Oh, yeah. I there was, there was 45 minutes, and he's just like, oh, I need like a Coke or something. Yeah, because I needed some caffeine. He was like, he was, was like, tuckered out. Two hours and 16 <laughs> minutes, and it does go over the top, and he's oh, holding a freaking helicopter. At Jordan. one point, that is chained together kind with of. a bunch of different <laughs> fucking cars. And it's, like, and it's like, this is so stupid. It was stupid. But yes, it should I be joyful enjoy, stupid. I did enjoy that it's part. It's hollow stupid. stupid. Okay. Yeah. You enjoyed when every single person was driving their car yes. and just magically hooking <laughs> up. <laughs> no, Joe. That's what, you, that's what I was going By in By then, uh. I was completely knocked out of the film because there's only uh. a certain amount of cartoonish you can handle. Here's the thing. 
I can handle cartoonish if it was the whole thing, but don't you agree, Joe, that too many times they did the melodramatic thing. They kept trying to take it serious. Oh, this girl is falling in love with Hobbs. And they they forced that love so much. And, oh, they're flirting. And then he has very melodramatic speeches in that Samoan part, right? But, unfortunately, like, there's going to be a goddamn Samoan Lord of the Rings about to happen, right? It reminded me of Scorpion King, Joe. The Rock oh, Scorpion God. King. And you don't want to be reminding me of that. <laughs> they don't even, for God's sake... They throw in the Samoa storyline, and uh, God bless him if he wants to get with his roots. Or just go home. He's like, look, I'm producing this film. I kind of want to go home. Yeah. Like, we're, we're going to Samoa, and he's like, Everybody what? have fun in Samoa. It's an excuse, but it. I got to say, I felt it was a little cringy. Well, it felt the forced. Theme, that's the whole theme of uh, Fast and Furious. No, no, no. Family. The, and right, but it is. that's family no. exactly what it is. That's Lilo yes. and Stitch. You're thinking of Lilo oh, and Stitch. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You're exactly <laughs> right, movie. Joe, but that's why this film is inferior because you well, don't yeah. care about any of the characters' backstory. You don't. The family parts feel forced. The flirting parts feel forced. Force when at least in the Fast and the Furious film you actually felt like a bond between these people, and, and in this film everybody has a link to everybody else magically, coincidentally contrived. There's just a, Brian Reynolds is apparently his best friend, who then the main villain Idris Elba has a link to this person and that person, and no, oh, that's his sister, and this is the. It's no, it's too much. <laughs> it's over the top, too much. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you 100% on pretty much everything that you've said, but it's funny to me because my expectations were super low. And my and yours, expectations yours were like, much. let's have some fun! Yeah, I was just like, this isn't going to be good. And I just sat there and goes like, eh, yeah, wasn't very good. But I'm not like super upset yeah because i didn't. i had to wait like three four movies i was on vacation i was like oh man everybody's getting to see this hilariously over the top and just so much fun movie you amped yourself up to me i did i, thought I, I probably did going into it, it was like i already knew it was gonna be how could you stupid. fail with it? the rock and 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 jason statham i love these two actors and they do have genuine chemistry yeah but and these also are two characters skyscraper I he, that was terrible <laughs> oh, so i was thinking i was thinking about all right this is probably gonna be like skyscraper it's probably gonna take itself there was die kind of references it in was, one too, yeah. it's gonna take itself kind of seriously but it didn't it was over the top and like i like no it, it did it, take itself seriously a, joe a, yeah. i can't let you say know. that it doesn't it was take... just like a cheesy a action flick no this is this, this is stupider than the old school stupid ones joe it's a parody of those ones one. it's a parody of Fra fast and the furious and it's a parody of itself you have the evil voice talking in the room. The claw. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. He's sitting there petting. <laughs> it was a claw. Oh, get you, I was get wondering you. who was in the back there. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. He was like petting some evil cat. I have so much to talk about in spoilers on stupid parts okay, yeah, that make he, no damn he hated sense. It. Oh, okay. yeah, one, yeah. But I'm going to let some of y'all talk some more. Plot holes? No. In this film, the thing that loses the most points for me that this could have been a movie that I would actually tell people to go see. Some, Not yeah. a good movie, but it's like, look, if you want just a mindless action flick, there was something in this movie that lost two whole points. There is so much that, of repeating of the same joke Yep. over and over and that's half the dialogue between the two main characters yeah they're just going uh, again we, we talked about it already it's like you're short and, and you're big and <laughs> and that's it that's that's the whole movie and i just got tired of it yeah it was like you know the jokes between kevin hart and the rock when they're in <sighs> movies together no what was that movie and he was in this movie <laughs> and guess what there he goes he tells you he's in the movie <laughs> And he does the same kind of crap. Hey, well, I want to be on a team. Let me do these things where I can be on a team. And I'm going to do my Kevin Hart thing. And then there was some awkward. Because everybody loves Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. If he asked me to be in a film, I'd be in a film. Yeah. I would have been, been, been in that movie. But you know what? I think Vin Diesel is out there someone like, yes, this film. Not very good. It's However, making money. It's making money. It is making money. We looked it up. I was like, man, this, this, I can't, I do not really want to see a sequel. They're like, you know, at the end, I'll tell you what happens. It, they we, they we set are. up a sequel that is the worst sequel ever. But anyway. the Rock asks you, hey, be in part two. You're going to do it. Done. I'm there. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be just, horrible. <laughs> sure, sure. Oh, my God, Joe. Yeah, he's going to cast us as the dude he punches. 
I'll be okay with Here, that. Here's what the film did. They wanted to do over-the-top action scenes. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah. And they wanted to do the family angle. Yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and, and build these the characters. And, and, the and, com- and make the you comment. care about the characters. Yeah. Here's the thing. I already cared about the characters because I liked them from the previous films. And all of the story, backstory they filled in, the characters, the relationships, their families, none of it meant anything. I didn't feel anything for any of them. Most of it was cringe. The relationships didn't work. The love between uh, Shaw's Shaw's sister to Hobbs doesn't really work. It was going to happen, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be that way, Joe. Stop giving it an excuse. It was it was terrible. Did you think that they fell in love and it was a great little story? There? I knew it was going to happen. Well, no, it it's not a great story. Yeah, it was like w- poorly executed. One of the worst, like sort the, of flirting I've yeah, ever it was seen. Like, yeah. How can Hobbs get back at Shaw? I'm gonna get with the sister. Mm-hmm. Yay. Over and over. <laughs> when he described, oh, yes. that, that scene was so cringy in that airplane. I was just like, no, please stop. That was, yeah, they needed to stop there. And and here's another thing, and and this is more to the structure of the film. Even if you think that it's good, over the top fun, uh, the editing. So poorly done. There were so, and I, I don't normally notice things like this, but there are, you know, hard ass cuts. They'll have a line and boom, it hits the next scene. Yeah. And they're already in mid next scene. Like it's been going on forever. Like the editor guy is drunk or something. They hired a, editing is a, so bad. A couple drone cameramen because they had a lot of like the spinning shot around mm. them when they're like standing. It's like, I stop. So, yeah. so the pacing is off. The scene transitions are crazy and then and you the have so have been, many like he should have clipped a couple of scenes too, yeah and like oh yeah it's way seconds. too long made, way made too short. long four hours yeah. but and and with this way too long there are expo- exposition dumps yeah. huge exposition just voiceovers come out of nowhere Hobbs and Shaw start talking and explaining the next scene before it, and then the next scene happens and then there's crossfades on the montage of setting up for the final battle and that final battle was so cringy there was really not you could, the shaky cam you weren't satisfied by any of the Samoan action really they didn't even do the dance you know where they're like ah! You know, they and do they, the do the, they do it for like a they second. They definitely or so. it, no. They definitely do the ah the face, but they don't actually do the dance. No. They, cut away. Yeah, they yeah. cut away. It's crazy. They cut away. It's bullshit. Else. It's like you take all this time to set up the Samoan lore and the mythology and the ancients and the gods, and they don't do nothing. They cut away with it. Apparently, Samoans are able to hack into this fucking advanced technology from these fucking. <laughs> all right, now, now you're into. thinking too much. No, into I'm not it. thinking yes. too much into Spoilers, it, Joe. Bro. Don't fucking tell me. Spoilers. No, that's not. I don't give a fuck anymore. Okay? Spoilers. Because it's a three. It's a three out of ten. If if we mute his mic, he's doing the haka right now. He's just like. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Y'all can talk. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, since we're going in the spoilers, let's do this. No, 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 no. You want to talk? Let's go. Let's. Just because I said Samoans can hack. Doesn't mean well, that you want to spoil that point. everything. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get to the spoilers, but we have Joe. What happens at the end of our reviews? We gotta give it a rating. Oh yeah, fine, we yeah, go to spoilers. final verdict. Well, yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Okay, you go first since you almost finished your cracking. Oh yeah, good God, <laughs> it's all soda. It's all soda. Drink responsibly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> um, I think that there were very few bright spots in this film. When the comedy was good, it was really good. When the action was good, it was really good. Yes, I want to point that out. I know I'm smashing on the film. Yeah. But it's because it, it completely lost me and it went over the... But you're yeah. right. There are some bright There's spots. There's bright spots. I, Idris Elba did a fantastic job. I think that I anytime... I mean, Dwayne Johnson is just so good at, at, at doing the Dwayne Johnson thing. He's charming. Thing. He's yeah. very charming, and I want to watch his movies. And the problem with this movie was the script wasn't very good, and yes. so we didn't have anything to... He didn't. Yes. couldn't do anything with it. The same with Jason Statham. Because he has I to really, say the lines. Yeah, they, they, they both just have this awkwardness together where they work really well together, and when they're having normal conversation, I want to see that film. But the, it was written poorly like really really poorly yeah. there was two segments towards the middle and maybe the la- like the beginning of the last third of the movie that were should have just been cut out of the film i was bored to death yeah there was stuff exploding michael bay was there like all sorts of st- like every <laughs> everything is on fire michael Car- bay was literally there there is a transformer in the film yeah. yes I okay i'm sorry i'm sorry that, i'm sorry though. yeah <laughs> You love it, yeah. I'm gonna throw this freaking drink at you. Yeah, we need Go to get him one of these. And then, so like, there are some bright so, spots, but there's that's this much of the movie, and then there's this much of the movie. Okay, yes. And so I just this is 
I wanted to give this like the average action film, mm-hmm. but it's not. It's below average. I'm going to give it a four. Okay. Joe. I was stuck between a four and a five, actually, too, but <sighs> would I see this again? Not really. Hell no, you would <laughs> I would watch this you before know I watch you would watch it. Yeah, that's uh, I, I would, would I watch would... Stuber. Oh, for sure. I Stuber, yeah. Stuber, Stuber did it Stuber, well. Yes, had funny ass jokes, mm-hmm. action. It was great and charming characters. And that's why I, I think if I were to give this a five, I would watch it again from time to time. But this is a probably below. I probably would not watch this again. The humor was fine whenever it first started, but then it started wearing thin on me. I was like, all right, this is getting annoying. Let's get some better writers in here because yeah. they were acting like kids. I was like, you're a dude, you head, and you are. Blah, blah. I was like, come on, guys. But don't you like Step Brothers, Joe? <laughs> that was different. I know it is different because <laughs> that's better writing. Yes. Um, the plot was. The dumbest thing ever. Look, the plot <laughs> is a Fast and the Furious plot, all right? Like, you no, can't no, no, just... No, 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 no. <laughs> I, even, even by Fast and the Furious standards, this plot is so fucking... Yes. Again, again, this is the second but one I've I ever seen. I did love his motorcycle he rode. That Joe, thing. I thought that was oh, the stupidest amazing. fucking thing. Turn into a unicycle. Me and Melissa were and laughing like, into our like some asses skates. off. It was so ridiculous because <laughs> in my head it was doing the transformer yes. noises as it was doing shit. Yes. And it was just so dumb. And where the fuck did this thing come from? I yeah, want to see thing a movie like with turns just that. And no one do a about fucking it. spinoff of that motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. It's, like it's the th- Fast and the Furious, Hobbs and Shaw spinoff, transforming motorcycle yeah. spinoff. We all looked at each other like, is nobody going to talk about the motorcycle? No one's going to talk Motorcycle that does everything, <laughs> but it only happened that one scene. I was like, you no, 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 have multi use for there this. There were two scenes where he trained, oh, where the they chase, were. Yeah. But uh, I love that motorcycle. I wanted to see so it. So that's what that. saves it and gives it a, a four. four. Nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Good> motorcycle. <laughs> Guys, this is the wrong. It's and a three over, out of ten. Over the top at the it's, end. It's, it's a three out of ten. It does get three, three. points wow. because one. Point is a really nice thing, and it will make you laugh. You'll you'll have a good time yeah. three times in the two hours and sixteen <laughs> minutes. You're gonna have a good time. One when they're making fun of each other. Two during a chase sequence, and three during one of the uh, fight action sequences. That was all right, but there was just not it, everything in between was just lackluster. Uh, awful. There was like a McLaren yeah. advertisement the whole time. Oh yeah, below uh, average, uh, really script, a bit, below yeah, below average, average writing, <laughs> script, editing, pacing. Uh, cinematography was fine, but The Rock is charming. Jason is so fucking cool, and those guys hold the film together. But even their charming and and professionalism really can't hold it for that long, mm-hmm. and uh, so it starts to fall apart there a little and bit. And they had a great the cast too. Mm-hmm. They should have done more yeah. with yeah. that cast. All right. So that's our opinion. It's late. I know. But I wanted to get this in here because we did trailer reactions, because it's so <laughs> over the top. And because, honestly, I thought that this one was going to be good. Right? See what? See our ratings? You, you hated it the most before you saw it. And what did you give it? The highest rating. <laughs> well, well, and no, no, I no. thought it was going to be the <laughs> best. Are yes, you, you gave it a five out of ten. No, four, four out of ten. Four, four, okay, four three. Four out of ten. Okay, How and well, you. both of you thought it was going to be bad, and you give it a four. I thought it was going to be good, and I give it a three because it wasn't good, yeah. in my opinion. It went too far it and too stupid uh, to, too long. to be. Uh, and if you're going to do too stupid, do it the whole film. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to go into spoilers so I can read off exactly how stupid this film gets. <laughs> and see you there. Welcome to the spoiler section. I wrote it down, but first, let's have these guys talk. This is kind of like the Holmes and Watson of the action universe. Yes. Where, like, there, there's so many so bad. cringy, Just non-hitting that. jokes. That, Dude, that remi- this film reminds me of uh, like like two bad agent films. What are the two agents that are bad? Holmes and Watson. Mm-hmm. Do you have any others? Mm-hmm. You remember that Antonio Banderas He's film? never been in a bad film. Yes, 13th Exodus. Warrior. 13th Warrior is the greatest film of I, all time. Shut up. Uh, that just bad, cringy, awfulness. Go ahead. Yeah. So Idris Elba's final transformation is into cats. Oh, yeah. He evolves he into evolves a cat. He evolves into a cat. Spoiler. Very funny, Joe, <laughs> but he doesn't transform. His motorcycle transforms. Yeah, his yeah, his so he's able to uh, contort his body 
and his motorcycle is able to go low riding and switch to one wheel mode or two yeah. wheel mode and fit under uh, 18 wheelers that are crossing or in the case that things are exploding and flipping it can go horizontal and drive horizontally as he gets back on it and yeah because what's shit. Name, uh, Shaw killed him in the Terminator previous Salvation. movie and I guess he's like oh he came back from the dead because he joined uh, this no this is all off screen stuff that we see that's another problem with the film that is they're constantly referencing like, oh, things ghost. that happened off what, screen what? you remember that one time no I don't fucking remember <laughs> that one time I was with you <laughs> It was nice because uh, I, we we got to the theater a little early, and Alamo does like the recaps. Mm -hmm. So there was this this girl kind of giving me the full recap of everything that happened. With That's these characters. unfair. Well, That's because, why y'all gave it that extra point. Well, no, because I didn't know who the hell these people were. Y'all were but, getting buttered up. But even then, all of the it, all the stuff was off screen. Like mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. they, they didn't talk about any of these other characters at all. Yeah. So it's like I kind of knew who these characters were. Yeah. It just. They just kept saying, oh, hey, remember that one time? It's like, no, I don't. I'm, I, I wasn't there. I don't know who this person is. I don't know why you hate that person. I don't remember Kandahar. They kept talking about Kandahar. Oh, it's like, cool. What happened? No. Bad Better stuff? Better film. Oh, okay. Better film. I just remember. So this, this film is about a virus uh, that, if it gets unleashed, will kill all the weak people in the world. And humans mm. must evolve into machines, but not all the way. So that even the villains are kind of confused on what exactly they want. Uh, but so it all culminates into... Gloves. They have robotic gloves that evil people do. Yeah, all they yeah. Have, so they can use their then guns. Then they can block bullets with their gloves at the very beginning. Uh, here's the thing is that uh, – so uh, Idris Elba's character comes in to steal the virus. Uh, we have an MI6 uh, protecting the virus, and that is – uh, Shaw's sister mm -hmm. just so happens to be that he's got a sister right and she is a badass fighter which I don't buy for a second with that actress and she injects herself with the virus because this guy's killing everybody and winning she injects herself with the virus somehow is able to escape why who's designing that virus carrier that's like you know what we need to do we need to have this weird <laughs> mechanism so that someone can just inject themselves with the yes. virus for no reason stupid as fuck it's like oh okay I and then and then so then they try this whole film they're trying to get the virus out of her and there's an actual machine that can pull these little tiny virus capsules out of her blood which makes no fucking sense at all and the and they show how the virus machine works three injectors get injected into her arm. But that's not the best part, And though. it just so happened to be that the little pills are right next to the needles, and then I guess they suck in all the blood, and so she... Hang on, Joe. Let me finish this. Okay. She's literally having a mobile blood transfusion, which, by the way, you would feel so fucking exhausted. She kind of was. But no, she's running she around kind of was. They're like, people. For no. For like a second. No, Joe. No, don't she, don't she you did. even you excuse saw it. this film, Joe. Please. Okay, but... What I was going to say is that the machine got fucked up. It was like scientists made this. So who does he take it to? To his his, uh, his brother. His the brother mechanic. Who runs a chop shop, yeah. He's like, that can you fix this? <laughs> the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> I fix cars. I don't know what the fuck that is. Well, and, he's also <laughs> and he does fun custom fabrication. It does like a NOS ho a ho hose on it. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, he doesn't even know that <laughs> his brother does that because he gets there and he goes, oh, you went legit. You do 3D printing. It's like, you thought he didn't do this shit? Yeah. And you, all you knew is he was a mechanic. This. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I need you to fix this. So, so that's the second thing I wrote, Joe. Virus machine. Explain it. <laughs> how hilarious it is. No way second, you Samoans fix the virus machine. This, mm. this machine that is nowhere in the world. It's exclusive. It's yeah, only built exactly. by one person who died in the film. This crazy Russian guy, which the Russian part of this film was like so boring. And uh, everybody's pointing guns at each other. They're torturing them. And then he comes in with the flamethrower and kills everybody. And for some reason, these ultra-trained, ultra-advanced soldiers do not fire a shot. I, I was waiting to hear a shot when this guy is firing flamethrowers and Hobbs and Shaw are punching people. And their weapons are still active at this point. Nobody fires a shot. And then in the background, you can see people running around or as if, like, the SWAT team came in and was fighting because there's chaos and they're just walking on the top and running away from everybody. They didn't want to get burnt. Point like, fuck yeah. fire <laughs> and it would have been all over, but they're all running around. There are a couple scenes where all the bad guys are firing at people, but mm -hmm. we see that 
all of the good guys aren't getting shot at. And so there's scenes where I'm like, who the fuck are they fighting? Who are at? they? That's are they just exactly like, what I'm just like, saying. Come on, they're, they're fighting in the background. Yeah. <laughs> in that scene. That where, same guy dies 32 yes. times. Where they break out from the chairs, right? Yeah. Where they've been oh, captured. Yeah, yeah. And it's only his sister and the scientist that is helping, right? Or the scientist that's really helping. They're all running around and there's fights in the background. Who are they fighting? <laughs> They're starting to punch each other, I guess. The camera's not on them, so it doesn't matter. The uh, Russian they thought stuff they were off monster. screen. Is like, yeah. Well, they can't shoot the girl because if they shoot her, the virus gets out in the whole yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. So at one point, and then this is a trailer shot where the fucking dune buggy comes out and it slams through the glass, and then it does a spin in the air so that a helicopter who's firing a chain gun at it will not kill any of the people inside, even though those bullets would rip through the Here's goddamn car. Here's where I counter car. that. Hang on, I'm not done. And the camera focuses on the fact that she she's throwing her legs yeah. out of the car for no reason. She's throwing her legs out. And and the car lands, and she just kind of gently falls that out of the car. That would have broken her back. No, it would have been over <laughs> no, with. Well, I don't back. know why they had to throw that extra piece in. Just keep her in the fucking car that's, like that's his, Jason, Jason is. That's Jason's trademark in transport. That's how he removed the bomb from the bottom oh, of the car. Oh, that is true. Remember, there was <laughs> the crane thing. Yeah. We <laughs> no, got a couple no. of those. We got an Italian job yes. reference. And you was... look. Yeah, we did get an Italian job reference. He points at his little Mini Cooper, yeah. and he said, I did it. That's from uh, Italy. I did a little like job a, there. Yeah. <laughs> But here's the thing: when that comes comes o- when that car comes over, I literally counted the fucking uh, bullet hits on the car. It was like three little special effects <laughs> with the chain guns going, <laughs> and it's. <laughs> It's, like, it's the air. So they, they forgot to take missed. off the airsoft uh, <laughs> attachment. Yeah, it yeah. was for training purposes. They're like, oh shit. Oh, uh, so and then okay, then they all survive. I don't know, guys. Might be going to five. <laughs> yeah, this movie's <laughs> the worst. The worse we describe it, the, the more mechanic. he likes it. <laughs> What the fuck is this? All right, let's try it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they hate his guts, and then they just want to help him right away because the mom is uh, going to all hit them with the chancla. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> it's just so cringy. And then you've got this part where this helicopter, uh, w- you know, I understand how they they're, they have to force the Samoan fight to be like, we're going to fight with melee weapons to make this joke. And it's like, mom, these weapons suck. And she's like, no, I hate guns. You're going to fight with this, boys. We're going to fight with this. And we're going to fight with this and your heart. I'm like, you're going to get fucking killed. Mm -hmm. Right. But no, we can hack the gun suddenly. We have a doodad and the doodad. And she was working on like a night. She's working on Windows 95. uh, Like in the (laughs) chop shop. And she's like, I'm hacking the glove. They're able to somehow hack the fucking system where all their weapons turn off. I turned to Joe because I saw the screen that uh, Shaw's sister is shutting it all down. And it shows a. Pistol, pistol, rifle, pistol, knife. She turned off the knife. She turned off the knife. She turned off a fucking (laughs) knife. Talent right there. I fucking, and then when I saw that, I turned to John. She turned off a fucking knife. It was amazing. That must have been a little Easter egg. And for that, I might might, might raise it a point. I'm starting to get convinced too, right? No. No. Okay, fine. So so they get there, and they're all going to shoot them, and their guns don't work, and they go, you know, they they almost want to do the dance, but they're not doing the dance. He gives them a speech, Scorpion King style. Well, which- none of them understand it because he's doing it in traditional Samoan, and they're just looking at him like, we don't know what you're saying. <laughs> it's really cool. He's like, my like power of the ancestors. I don't even and know. We're gonna go war, cool. And we're going to go to war, and we're going to kill you. completely out of place. And all the dudes with guns are like, I don't know what you're saying. Right. And so then they, and then they create fire around so they can't escape. And so then they all beat them up. They fucking spear them and they're beating them up. But of the, the way it's filmed is so poor that it's not any kind of epic battle. And you're like, oh, this kind of sucks. But then he's like, order the helicopter in. So you have this helicopter. This helicopter has fucking five missile racks, fucking rockets, and fucking chain <laughs> guns on it. It, but it doesn't fire, apparently. It got also, that one got hacked, even though there's... That, why would they put a trigger system? I don't know. Later the on, they were like, all right, now we're active. Right. And so they, they chain all these cars together. Uh, no, Ugh. they take a tow truck, and he throws a fucking hook onto the helicopter, <laughs> and he's somehow able to prevent the helicopter from leaving or, or just jacking with Idris Elba. But... That helicopter could easily pick up that that thing, or something would have happened. It would not happen that way. <laughs> Don't 
Gears lost and, then, and then the, all the other Samoans show up in their dirt ass fucking trucks. There's a barrel of apart. monkeys. Yeah, they 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 uh, they, they all hook like together. Volt, they hook together like Voltron and they to hold do this more hill. weight on the helicopter, but it's able to lift them all anyway. But no, the rock holds the fucking chains together and he's holding a helicopter. And I thought in the trailer, I was like, he must have took the super serum. No. And he's able to, do, no, they just did this raw. I'm like, Joe, are they about to do this raw? And just like, they did oh, it. Yeah. They did it, yeah. <laughs> he held the helicopter. So, But it wouldn't be a Fast and Furious without the moonshine. Oh. Oh. Use a Nas, no, baby. Nas, baby. Use a Nas, all four. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they take down they kind of take down then they do the zoom the like they do from the for a little bit <laughs> they do the zoom for the Fast and the Furious each one is engaging their Nas yeah when I saw that I was like oh shit yeah this is Fast and Furious huh yeah. <laughs> I forgot you completely forget yeah and uh, and then so so you got all that happening and right at the end uh, the helicopter finally comes down smashes against the side and remember Shaw's sister is in the fucking helicopter. So is Idris <laughs> Elba and a bunch of other people. The blood <laughs> with the yeah. God, she's got a dialysis machine. Yeah, she's just like sitting there. Back. She's holding. So the they do this. <laughs> they do this plan where they rip the helicopter down from the sky, slams into the side of the fucking. Boat. No one. No one was wearing uh, any kind of any harness. Kind of harness or <laughs> well, more Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> and it slams and multiple times it falls apart into many pieces. Then the truck that they're driving the tow truck that they were fucking with falls down with our heroes inside it a cliff a waterfall and a cliff with massive explosions and everybody and, and survives she's gently placed she's on the, she's next on the rock. to but next they, to the helicopter with the blood <laughs> <laughs> but they crash into a thunderstorm the machine, <laughs> the machine is still working with her. Yeah, it, it uh, works this time. <laughs> She gently rolled out of the helicopter. You can't see what Joe's doing with his feet. It's so funny. <laughs> She's laying down like a log. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't. But is it when know. they start the fight. I think I like this. <laughs> you, you like it? I think I like it too. No. No. I stop think, it. Uh, <laughs> but you see the thunderstorm coming kind of whenever. Well, sort of. Like, I, what are you talking storms. about this thunderstorm? They're fighting. Why do you keep talking about They're fighting this? in the daylight the entire no, they, time. they fight at night. And the well, the battle goes hyper speed, and it goes it's into dawn, dawn, and then it goes yeah. into the day, and then it goes back to night because of the storm. There's a thunderstorm, and they they crash. It's sunny as they crash, and then when they land, it's raining, and then and when night. they and then when they walk back up, it's sunny again. Yeah, they you went through have two that, days. Yeah, two, yeah, you wouldn't have that cool fight though. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to fight each other. In you the have rain. like the Rocky fight where okay. you see all Explain the. Explain how they're gonna handle Black Superman. I just Elba has been able to predict their punches and avoid them, and he knocks the fuck out of them this whole movie. His how do they defeat him? What is his weakness? Kryptonite. It's two people. <laughs> but yeah, two people fighting him at the same time, <laughs> working together. <laughs> It's too Black, evil. Black Superman can't handle two punches at once. <laughs> when he demonstrated that he can take on nine fully armed soldiers with automatic weapons and spec ops training at the beginning of the An film. SUV flipping over on him. <laughs> yeah. And push it over. <laughs> but he can't handle two people punching him simultaneously. <laughs> I can't. I can't. This is the greatest movie of all time. I think. There you go, man. <laughs> I I thought that this I was so cringy five. and so bad that it wasn't good bad, <laughs> but talking about it now, I'm thinking about it five. might be a good bad. <laughs> like I would honestly watch it again if it didn't drag I, I on. I might go up to if four. If it didn't drag on for so long in the middle, yeah, mm -hmm. it sagged really hard yeah. in the middle. That's okay. the thing that killed it for me. Yeah, and uh, so as, <laughs> so as long as I. I look at have the one of these DVD. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. If I look at the DVD and they were like, "We did this all on purpose." Yes, she turned off the knife as well. <laughs> so as you stab with the, it, it just goes, I, it it goes just, limp. You know, no, the little <laughs> fake gun, the fake knife. <laughs> it goes it's back not. in. There. Oh, damn. <laughs> Fuck! Activate the knife. God damn it! They hack my knife. Hobbs and Shaw hacking knives. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Like whenever they're doing the helicopter little they're trying to pull it down uh they're like oh we got our stuff activated again so they start shooting i was like what about the people in the village yeah all the people they show the a scene <laughs> just immediately did and they show a scene and everything's fine the samoan grandma's like yeah we won and everybody's like, happy guns they would have fucking shot and killed everybody but no they show a scene where he's like yeah yeah and the people are like you know 
they're basically hostages at that point is what they're trying to imply. No one but died. No, bullshit. Not a single fire, no. shot fired. Some of those Samoans were literally murdering, murdering people. people yeah. So, well, I'm talking about the Samoans. None of the Samoans died. I know that's what's stupid. It's fucked up. And it's like, yay, we're glad we helped, you know, uh, Hobbs. But if it was reality, they'd all be dead. You know, fucking rainbow at the end. Oh, over their dead bodies. Yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, so that was that. End credit yeah. scenes. Uh, so are there any after credit scenes? Explain Two, them. right? Go ahead. Uh, we get another Ryan Reynolds scene, which yeah. was interesting. I mean, he's in there, and there's like a new virus that this one doesn't melt your insides. It melts your outsides. Oh, my God. Yeah. We have to do the virus thing again. I, they show him I in a hallway where he bait happens. up everybody as well. Yeah, it's like the the old boy where he there's like forty people beaten mm-hmm. to death. Yeah, right. Uh, I guess they're trying to say, hey, he's a good agent too, because yeah. they show a hallway beat up scene with Hobbs and Shaw. That was the trailer, the funny part where he's putting the guy, uh, you know, up against the the thing. But the pacing in the scene. It was too fast, or maybe I've seen it too many times where it just didn't have the same. Yeah, I mean, it was in the trailer. Oh, yeah, 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 in the trailer. Um, <clears throat> and then what other what other scenes were there? The after after credits was uh, oh he pulls a prank on uh, wait Hobbs pulls a prank on Shaw or he calls the Vice cops versa. on him. Oh, I thought you were talking about the first time. Oh so, yeah, so yeah, they they go to a different country and when they go to Russia, um, they are. Uh, basically fugitives because this super advanced tech uh, force, Etonion, Etonion, whatever. Sure, yeah. Uh, they <clears throat> they put them. I guess they have all the global news in their pocket mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, yeah. And they say they're fugitives, so they have to have uh, funny little disguises. Uh, and the disguise that he gave uh, the Rock, uh, his character was. Michael. Uh, Mike, Michael. Mike, Mike di- no, Mike, Michael Mike Ox- Oxmall. Mike Oxmall. Mm-hmm. Mike, Mike Oxmall. Oxmall. Yeah. Ox Small, last name, Mike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so they repeat that over and over. Mike Ox Small, Mike Ox Small kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And they laugh about it. And he's like, oh, you bastard. And, and they detain like, him at the and airport. And they detain him to cavity search him. But mm-hmm. he says, people like me. How did you How did you get back here? People like me, unlike you. You have no yeah. friends. Gets him back at the end. How does he get him back? Uh, he calls him, what, Hugh Janus? Yes. Yeah. And then they call the cops on him. Come out here, Hugh Janus. And you Hugh Janus. Yeah, well, that one wasn't as clever. No. no. Yeah. And he calls them Yeah, the they, these are some of the jokes. They're doing all the know. funny jokes like they're family now and they're funny, but it, they just don't And they don't have to. He, right. he doesn't even end up with the sister at the end of the movie, he so he can't, like, I thought that's how he's going to get him. All right, they do all of this, you know, flirtatious stuff. I guess you got to save that for the sequel when they do the virus. No, it's going to be somebody game. new. So you have Got this him. voice, this claw voice. It's like, you're on our rate. That's the third after credit scene. Uh, you know, we're, we got the order wrong, but he's like, "We, you're on our radar now. Idris Elba was a chump. Know that we're coming after you and stuff. Yep. You said now you think it's Ryan point. Reynolds. It sounded like it was him doing it. No, uh, there's so many different voices in that voice and yeah. so much modulation. I, I didn't hear Ryan. Yeah. Uh, but Ryan was doing Deadpool. You know, he's doing his his Ryan character, which I liked. He's a funny yep. guy. But I was trying to figure out who it was. He's like, oh, we've met before. I was like, well, that doesn't help. I don't remember your movies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not only like, do you remember it. the movies, but everything that in their backstories happened off screen. It's ludicrous. Is, is Ludacris still alive? Ludacris? Yes. Yeah, Wait, cool. I don't know. <laughs> oh. I, I have no idea. No, I mean, in the, in the Fast and the Furious universe. No, I don't know. Oh, guess okay. who it is. Oh, yeah, I know he's still alive. Yeah, guess who it is, guys. It's fucking Vin Diesel. <laughs> he's <Toronto>. mad. <laughs> they did a no. spinoff. <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to kill you now. You're not family. <laughs> oh, they already did the bad guy Vin Diesel thing in the last one. Anyways, so that's it, guys. Hilarious to talk about. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the spoiler section. I don't know yeah. how you feel about the movie, whether you downvoted us or not because you liked it. But mm-hmm. um, I'm not crapping on you if you liked it because now I think I'm starting to understand it. But here's the thing. I usually love movies that go so over the top that they're so stupid. But when you're watching it, it's so cringeworthy. It does not land. I think it just sounds way better on paper. And that's what happened. This film sounds great on fucking paper. Paper, but on execution, maybe the director, the writers, they just weren't up to it. Mm. All right. That's it. Yep. Thank you guys so much. And uh, be careful with the knives in your house. They might be hacked. Yeah. Seems it. See you on the next Angry Joe Show, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.